The Cold War ended more than two decades ago, and today American nuclear strategy finally caught up with history. Under the new policy adopted by the Obama administration, the gravest threat is no longer all-out nuclear war, but the chance that just one weapon will fall into the hands of a terrorist or rogue state. Given al-Qaeda's continued quest for nuclear weapons, Iran's ongoing nuclear efforts, and North Korea's proliferation, this focus is appropriate and indeed essential, an essential change from previous reviews. Nations have always viewed nuclear weapons as weapons of last resort, but for a terrorist, they would be the first choice, which accounts for this truly alarming prediction by Graham Allison of Harvard University. It is more likely than not, within the next five years, there's a successful nuclear or biological terrorist attack somewhere in the world. For the first time ever, the new policy limits the circumstances under which the U.S. would resort to nuclear weapons, assuring nations which do not have them and do not try to get them, they have nothing to worry about. But when it comes to nuclear wannabes like North Korea and Iran or terrorist groups like al-Qaeda, American policy is just as threatening as it always was. All options are on the table when it comes to countries in that category. Stopping the spread of nuclear weapons is a first step toward President Obama's ultimate goal of eliminating them. But he is bucking some powerful history. The number of countries with nuclear weapons has gone from one to nine in the past 65 years. The world is telling us by their behavior that whereas we think nuclear weapons are less important, everybody else thinks they're more important. Secretary of State Clinton called the new policy a milestone. But if the goal is to eliminate nuclear weapons, it will be a very long road. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.